Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Samaria, not a real doctor, trying out a different format for the day. My uh, fancy camera is done and over with, but I have a phone that should be capable of doing some stuff, and since I'm planning on trying to get started with shorts content, um, which is going to require me to do video like this anyway, I might as well use it to do some chats with you about topics that normally would require a little bit of uh, interactivity, you know, whatever, even though I look pretty terrible. I shaved. Not yesterday, but, you know, I shaved, so I look okay. Um, <laughs> you can see me. I touched my nose. You can see it. Now, um, yeah, I don't actually know if I'm in frame either because this is the back camera. The front camera's nice, but it's not as good as the back camera. And the back camera doesn't let match. Maybe if I set some sort of a mirror, th I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Later. In the meantime, today I want to talk to you a little bit about, see, the Bright List got deleted for good. Um, there was a, a public vote, there was a staff vote, and there was an overwhelming majority of people who voted to get rid of it. And I think, looking at some of the comments on my videos here, and comments elsewhere on the internet, that this is indicative of perhaps a sharp divide between the on-site and off-site fandoms. I'm also... I think this... Is this the first, like, real video I'm doing in my basement? that I, The room that I built with, uh, with the, the GoFundMe money? I think it might be. Yeah. So the thing is, at least half, if not more of the comments on my videos have been generally not, generally either apathetic or completely against the idea of removing the bright list from the SCP wiki. And that's a surprising thing to learn because if you look at the site itself, you'd find overwhelming support for getting rid of it. And a lot of people will tell you there isn't a divide in the SCP community, but I think there certainly is. And in in fact, it's worse than most people fear because while there is a divide of on, quote unquote, on and off site users, and I don't really think that's a fair judgment, and I'll tell you why in a second, um, a lot of people don't recognize it that way. There's just SCP fans, but there are gatekeepers inside the fandom who want to keep not necessarily want to keep the fandom, you know, isolated or whatever, or to do things only the way they want to, but at the same time, gosh, if you were to talk to authors and site users, and you were to ask them, what's one of the worst things about the SAP Wiki? They'll tell you people who prefer Series 1 articles. And I personally really hate that as an attitude. And that's easy for me to say, right? I'm on YouTube here. The people I'm talking to here are going to be, uh, some of them are going to be big fans of the Series 1 stuff. So that's very, I'm not going out on a limb here saying that. I don't like that attitude. I don't like the attitude of differentiating between on and off-site fans. But there is a disparity of power, right? Because if you are an on-site fan, that is to say you're registered on the wiki, and you have a vote, then you have the capacity to actually affect change. You can look at an article you like, and you can upvote it, and you can look at an article you don't like, and you can downvote it. But what I think the big divide here on this particular topic, we can talk about the problems of the culture all, the time, all we want to, and I would really love to get into that. But the problem with this specific topic is that the, tr not the trust, well, in a way the trust, but the contract. There's a social contract on the SCP Wiki. If something is upvoted, it stays. If something is downvoted, it goes. And once something has been judged appropriate, no one after the fact is going to get rid of it. I think, personally, that the Bright List should go. Should have gone, I should say, because it is gone now. Because I have to make that differentiation because it's going to sound like I'm arguing for elsewise. There are sometimes exceptions, reasonable exceptions, that should be made to tradition. 
there are sometimes reasonable exceptions that should be made to, you know, that contract to say, is this, is leaving this up causing more harm than good? And for anyone out there saying this is literally 1984, I don't know what to tell you other than that you're being stupid. Uh, the SCP, this isn't even the first time the SCP Wiki's done this, right? The SCP Wiki has gotten rid of up, highly upvoted articles. Well, I shouldn't say, I don't know about up, highly upvoted articles, but there was there's something called the mass edit, which is widely considered to be a mistake, but there was something called the mass edit that was done a long time ago. Looking over there, I thought I saw a bug. It was just a screw in the wall. Uh, I'm not used to sitting right here. I'm usually, this is where I actually I lay down. <laughs> it's a very small room. Um, yeah, the mass edit happened, and what ended up coming of it was what a lot of people thought of was a higher quality average work on the SCP Wiki. And that's a big deal, right? The average quality of the SCP Wiki works matters. It does. And that was what the mass edit was supposed to do, to get rid of subpar works that had been upvoted making it an exception to the contract or whatever. But that, gosh, that was almost 15 years ago. Probably 14, 13. I don't remember exactly when the Matt said it was, but it's more than a decade. So more than a decade ago, this was done. And everybody kind of just let it happen. It just kind of was. What ends up happening sometimes on a site like this. But ever since then, We've definitely gotten to a point where it seems like there should be a guarantee. And there isn't. There just isn't. The SCP Wiki staff is always going to have the capacity to remove stuff that they think is harmful. And they should. <laughs> and it's not... <laughs> I don't want to have to get into why it's not uh, the censorship in the sense that you, that people are making it out to be. Censorship is not always bad. I'm sorry, it's just not. There's a really weird idea that people think that not only should they have free speech, but they should have consequence free speech, and that's not what free speech means. It does mean that the government can't give you consequences, necessarily can't give you consequences, but the government isn't also then required to protect you from the consequences of your speech. If you say something to someone and they tell you to shut up, you don't get to go, hey, you're violating my free speech. You know why? Because they told you to shut up, and they were exercising their free speech when they did it. But the SCV Wiki isn't a government. It's not a public, it's, it's hardly a public entity. It's just a bunch of collection of volunteers working on, on, on like a collective, uh, a collective, uh, a collective collaborate it took me a, it took me a, a, an embarrassing long time to I'm gonna edit it a little bit but it took me an embarrassingly long time to come up with the word collaborative a, a collective collaborative uh, uh, project right and a collaborative project doesn't mean each individual gets you know ultimate veto power it means that everyone collectively makes decisions and I'll tell you this right now Everybody who's saying, this is literally 1984, except they're probably much younger than that, so I don't know why I'm pretending like it's old people saying that. They would know the difference. Uh, again, I'm sorry, you're just wrong. But to the people who are saying, it's 1984, um, join the site. If you want to, this, there was a vote held. And if 60, I think it was a supermajority was required, if 60% or more of the site voters in that thread had not voted to get rid of it it wouldn't have been gotten rid of and you don't get to this is going to keep happening this kind of thing is going to keep happening so, this isn't just going to be about articles you like or don't like this is going to keep happening on the site and it may happen to other works that you sh believe should be held in indissolvable they should be permanent perpetual works on the SCP wiki and they're gonna go if they cause harm to people and if for some reason I again I think that these some of these works should go and I think the bright list should have gone but if you think elsewise get on the site 
and vote. And if you're too young to do that, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. And if you aren't too young to do it, and you just haven't, because it's too hard. Because this, it, don't get me wrong, Wikidot does make it difficult. And joining the site's not the easiest thing in the world. But it's, it like, it's like, it's like a hoop. You have to jump through a hoop to get through it. It's like the barest minimum of red tape, right? I, just join the site and make your voice heard if you really think this is a problem. That's all. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really hope I was in frame for this entire video because I have no idea. If not, you may end up with like a top or a bottom part of my head and that's just the way it's going to be. Because God, I don't have to re-record that because a lot of it was spontaneous. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to that. I'm still work. I know I said last week I was going to start on Monday. Uh, doing shorts uh, content last Monday, not this Monday, but last Monday. Uh, I'm still working out how that's going to look on this channel, uh, but it's going to happen. It is happening. It's going to be a daily thing once I figure out exactly what I want the videos to look like. Um, and this is a this is me getting prepared for it actually. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Next to that, so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday. Hopefully with the dank memes this time. Last time was a little thin. I had to skip it. Hopefully we've got enough this time around to actually do a video. We'll see you then.